A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please advise if the audio and video is clear. Please advise in the comment section.
Yes, I think it's okay. This is the first game of the second round of this ongoing. 16 out of 32 players are left in this competition that is ongoing here at Roxbury. It was for it was predominantly a men's comp, but ladies were free to register, starting with the plus one as a head start. Two ladies registered in Victoria Namianja as well as Sheila Anka. Vicky has been defeated by Bonica Mansur. Sheila Anka lives another day after defeating Moses Ibra. And she will be taking on Robert Tumsime in the second round. This is Ibrahim Sejemba taking on Moses Omar. This game is supposed to be, in a way, a special match. These two players have unfinished business most, especially Ibra. The biggest tournament that is organized in the country of Uganda, the car competition, the Nile Special National Open Pool Championship, the one that Ibra has never won in the edition of the tournament last year. He was defeated at the round of last 64 by none other than Moses Omara in a match that was mad by not just stiff competition but also controversy especially from the perspective of Ibra's team he himself who claimed that there was some kind of bias from the organizers towards Moses what happened was that the game was it was a time tournament there was however misinterpretation of the rules from the organizers to the effect that the actual rules were that at the elapse of time the ongoing game was supposed to go to penalties if there are less than five balls on the table but if at the elapse of time if players were drawing with more than five balls on the table then they were supposed to go to penalties what happened was that at the elapse of time there were two balls on the table a red and a black so at the elapse of time the umpire simply re racked the balls and called for speed pull penalties before the organizers came in to interpret the rules which were also written down that at the elapse of time if the balls on the table are less than five then the player the game had to be played to completion the balls were re re the two balls a red and the black were respotted at their spots on the table and Moses Omara finished the game and eliminated Ibrahim Sejemba from the National Open Championship. It was taken so personally by Ibra's management and I believe he himself also, especially against the organizers. That is why this game has been so awaited. Actually, the two players were not drawn to play against each other unless they had won their first round encounters. But fans, especially the neutrals, were wishing that they both won their first round encounters such that they face off in the second round. And your wish has been granted, ladies and gentlemen. Ibra Neil, Moses Omar Neil, race to five. But near the commentary box is one of you. A lady who normally watches these games live has come and wants to say hi. And Nandu to Hilda, look, say hi to the people. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Currently at the arena, watching Ibrateko Nomara. I think it's the replay of um, the National Open. Let's see if the outcome, outcome will be the same or it will be different. Yeah. Thanks for hosting me, Chobe Peter. Tell us what you do outside watching pool. <laughs> Chobe, why are you like this? <laughs> I am a nurse. I work with uh, Tosi Limited, a Mokono based company of like uh, three, four facilities around Mukono for now. We could be countrywide in the next five years, but for now, Mukono best. So Kate, she is meaning that she is a nurse, not a nurse of your heart. Eh? <laughs> a, <laughs> a nurse. There's one question Spina Kenny is asking. If you're married, please respond. If I'm married? Yes. Not yet. 
I'm not married yet. Can Spina have some hope? Hmm. I'll think about it. So if you are to get married, which kind of person would you go in for? Chobe, these questions are technical, my friend. Qualifications, qualifications. <laughs> it is kind of hard to express them right now. <laughs> but um, someone can reach out. We'll talk about them. Not right now. So, Spina, you had... I don't know what reaching out means. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Moses Omara. Two unexpected visits after a port of the white ball by Ibra. Definitely Ibra, the better player, no doubt about that. What happens is that every good player has a boogie player and Moses Omara would want to be Ibra's boogie player. It is an extension of the rivalry between Ibra and Caesar in a way. And Moses Omara, actually people tend to call him Caesar's brother. He is not, not even from the same district of Bath. He's from Kitgum, but is Caesar's training partner. Actually Caesar trains him and he likes to hold the queue and behave as Caesar does on table. Here, he has not behaved at all like Caesar. Because Caesar normally doesn't miss such easy blacks. Advantage Ibra, at least for a chance to play. Two yellows, pretty much portable. There is a black which is so near the cushion. Ibra drags the white ball to play a defensive safety shot, which pays off. I believe Moses will be playing off the cushion, closest to your screen, with right spin on the cue ball off the cushion. He will probably find his black, but even if he did that, he will simply open up the black for Ibra to port and does exactly as I thought. Almost same skill, white ball drawn backwards, a little bit inside motion to put both balls in the same pocket, actually does even better. This one now spells doom. You think that Moses Omara's best chance is taking the lead. Ibra one, Moses nil. Race to five. There's another ongoing game in the first round between Idi and the computer. In that one, computer leads three, one. Today I placed my tripod originally on the second table where there is a game between a computer and the ED. That is where we should have had this match, but we have unfortunately had it on another table where I haven't, I haven't placed my 
additional light so apologies at times the light is not the best lighting is not the best but at least we can see the action thank you for watching god frame marvin mwange you want to see the chat i'll be sharing it with you but i can tell you that the players through to the second round joseph kasozi taking on bwanika mansuru live next wagaba city versus wagaba dog city taking on kenneth odong sheila anka the lady taking on robert tumsime most likely ibra kayanja versus caesar chandiga and then the winner between bolo simon and Idi will be taking on the youngster asiku Lawrence Sengonga will be taking on most likely Ronald Akampira and then most likely Gideon taking on Caleb Mohire. Those are the second round games. Also, most likely we shall be playing second round only and then call it a day. Unless these players play so fast and see off this competition in time thank you for watching raymond wesley ibra's social media handler doing a good job on Ibra's socials. These players have become brands sometimes. They need such services. So thank you for to everyone who handles the social media handles of these players. Opio, Paul Okello. Wesley Raymond I also use to handle a few for players I want to tell you about last time Eber participated in a tournament was a few thousand miles away from here he reached the third round of the qualification phase of the World Haybo Championships. That is the closest he has gotten. He needed to beat one more guy, but it wasn't to be, as he was taken down by the UK's Liam. He's back on the small table, but we are not done with the big table. As Uganda, special thanks to the Advanced Talent Agency for the deal to spearhead the Haybo Revolution, which I want to call the Haybolution. First consignment of affordables should be in the country within two months. Robert Onekalit. The lady I've been talking to is Brenda Akiror. Thank you for your question. Mambo Rolex, thank you for watching. Keith Ntimba. Kingo to Mr. Meshakib, my good friend, must be watching from Mbarara Kingo. Thank you for always playing, always participating, and always losing. Ibra in attack mode. I know he really wants to beat. Moses, not just to knock him out, but to beat him like convincingly if possible with 5 nil. He will feel consoled after that shock 
elimination from the national opener i'm not so sure he can clearly see his yellow ball not by his body language he will do some table inspection but by it by his facial expression he probably can see part of the yellow maybe play a bank shot maybe play it off the black whatever the case he must play an effective shot or else he's in total danger Lavola simon three you are losing the ed2 they are also racing five Ibra seems to be aiming to play as much of the yellow as he can possibly see. He must either pot or at least play effectively. And it's taking too much time. Maybe more time than the rules permit. And finds the pot. And I believe he finds the white ball. He I think you can see enough of the black ball to put it to the corner pocket top left of your viewing area has to be just a little careful with the cue ball not to put it and yet and yet and yet and yet he misses
Shoutouts to you, Grace Malindo, my friend, Emerson, Ricky, Ronnie Santos, Mwene Fred. You want an update on computers game? It is 4 2. He is leading and in pole position to make it 5. Spinner, Kenny. Chims, Kapiola Chunga. Kenneth Kakiza. You are complaining about Ibra's playing speed. Well, these players have, according to the rules, 60 seconds to play a shot. So, as long as it is not more than 60 seconds, they are within the rules. They may utilize the time as they wish. Calvin Scott UG supporting Ibra Robinson Namatovu. Lovinda M. Liawela. Wem Gonzagira Hill always watching. And somehow Nandu to Hilda is watching on phone yet she's at the venue. The nurse whom spinner wants to be the nurse of your heart. Good luck to you. Moses Omara has a chance. To make it 1 1, remember in the national open, Ibra led 2 0 and then he led 3 1. And yet, Moses was the first to 4. Then Ibra equalized at 4 all and he lost in a decider. This young man is so brave and he believes in his own abilities to take down the players of the caliber of Ibra. That's not a good shot. He's a twin, by the way. I always get reports from Kitgum, extreme north of Uganda, that his twin brother is even more talented. I want to see him play one day. This one is Moses Omar, I think. And the brother, if I'm not mistaken, is Sam Omara. I'm not so sure of the name. But officials in Kitigum tell me that he's even more talented. Moses is just taking advantages of Caesar's training. He doesn't get the two shots. I'm not so sure this shot is effective for Ibra because as long as Moses Omara can put his red ball, he will be good to go for an equalizer. He simply needs to roll the ball. A little energy, not minding about the white even. Does even better. He will have the easy task. Takes a very deep breath. Comes to the table. And equalizes.
More action coming up, uh, guys. A 16 man comp, 16 players, majority of whom are also involved in this one, but only the cream will be playing out for cash prizes for the top three. Number one takes the equivalent of a thousand and two hundred US dollars, divided by two is the prize for number two. And then for the divide by two is the prize for number three happening at Dice Lounge on Tuesday. On one table they'll play out for a couple of days during the time. Another comp coming up details coming it's happening across the border to the east it is in kenya on table two karima paul leads four nil against ronald akampulira guy nicknamed kamwani here moses omara is looking Maybe to do a repeat of the shock he did in the National Open when he defeated Ibra Sajimba. He now leads 2-0. Thank you for watching. Ronnie Santos, you are asking how Lula Simon performed. He won his match. He's through to the second round and he will be taking on Asiku Jr. That one will be live either break and finish live Facebook or YouTube. Joseph Kasozi versus Bonica Mansur supposed to be the biggest match in the second round coming up next. Wagawa Rashid versus Kenneth Odong will be live too. Also Caesar Chandiga taking on most likely Kayanja Ibra also coming live tonight. Lawrence will be taking on the winner between Kaya, uh, Tina Akampia Ronald and Kalema Paul, most likely Kalema who leads 4-0, that one will also be live on the last match in the round of 16 will be Gideon Bwanika taking on most likely Kalib Mahiri guy nicknamed Water Hebra by his body language and Q action it seems he wants to do a combination shot, putting both yellow and red in the same corner pocket. It 
will be a beautiful way of winning if at all he does it. He is not perfect on his combination shot and he knows that he is in more trouble. He is pretty much the home player. This is his home venue owned by his personal manager. It is the home of Roxbury Pool Club to which he is captain. There are about 150 fans behind the camera watching and I will say that about 130 of them are supporting him. They are his people. And if Moses wins this match, we'll have let down so many people who are looking who are looking forward to seeing Ibra win a tournament of this sort at their own home ground. Last time he played a tournament here, he was the losing finalist. He came second to Banika Mansur. By the way, after the tournament, the second day he was admitted for five days with acute malaria so he was not in good health state when he played today he's looking fresh and healthy but so far against this omara guy things are not exactly working out because omara is playing penultimate shot of the match and is about to take a three one lead There we are. Moses Amara 3, Ibra Sejemba 1. Thank you. Jackson Walusansa is asking where Caesar Man is. Caesar is at the venue. I was just speaking to him in his break. I was just relaxing with his friends. He won his match, by the way, it was live break and finish live YouTube and if you are not watching live you can pass by Ivan Oketa you want Moses Omara to make Ibra feel the law good luck to you watch watch Ben asking the rest it is a race to five Ronnie Wafula live from Kata Doha always watching and I know that people who love pool and are so far away are people whose day I'm humbled to make I really am uh, but I'm also humbled that you make my day by tuning in to watch after all if you guys were not watching why would I even be streaming <laughs> Shims Kapila Chinga always watching. Mark Awari live from Riverside, California in the United States of America. One of those few times when I see USA on the stream always makes me feel so proud streaming to people who are as far as that part of the world. Jackson from Najanan Kumbi Potit, Jackson Walusansa. Thank you for watching and shout outs to Potit Management, especially Lisa for organizing that Easter Madness Comp. I really enjoyed myself as if I'm a fan. It was so beautiful seeing three comps in one and four different champions on the same day. The singles comp was won by Dog City, that was by Gideon Mawa and Vincent Sechibule while ladies event was won by Think Zaymat. Four different winners one day. Mambo was supposed to thank you for watching. Tamzwa Mchimisa Mali watching from the United Kingdom 
in Scotland. Dennis Angom. We are missing you in Uganda. You are watching from Lusaka. You need to come home, man. Sorry, Adima Machue, watching from Ireland, but my good friend who is Zim, very generous. He one time surprised me with a very good lunch just because he enjoyed watching a comp I streamed earlier in there. Vincent Sechewoli, that was champion. Thank you for watching. Kim Blood. Asking when I'm coming to NTV, I love NTV. There is a chance of streaming a comp if it happens in Kauku or Namlanda on Sunday.
Tell me who you are supporting, guys, especially if you are neutral. Spina Kenny is supporting Mayweather. By the way, Mayweather is Ibra's nickname. Now, this clearance has been pretty much that. Pretty much the Ibra you guys know. There we go. Three, two. As long as he keeps himself in this game, he will have a chance. Moses.
Let us talk to Robert Tumuseme, a player in himself, is in the second round, but he's very good friends with Ibra. I think he's even a fan of Ibra. Talk to the people, tell us if you think Ibra can win this match. Yes, I'm, uh, actually I'm not very sure, but I, I believe Ibra must make this. Yes, we have to make it, because um, I, the way I see, yes, the boy is lucky enough, but we are also lucky, because now the game is on our side, basically. But according to me, for me, I'm supporting Ibra. Ibra must make it. He may have to bring it home. Our boss is around. Everyone is around. All the friends are around. All friends are around. The boss is around. The fans are around. Everyone is that around. Ibra is down for two. That is Robert Tumusime. He defeated the Black Sheep to get himself to the second round. He also a player with Rocks, very poor club. Very close friends with Ibra. He's in a silent place. Ibra's manager and the entire management team are around and they are watching in disbelief or they just don't know what has hit their player. They are not interested in the money, they just want their boy to perform. If I could zoom you in. His manager, Zach, his management team of Bob Katerega, the entire Roxbury management team. By the way, in a very good gesture, they are seated on around a table. They are enjoying some drinks and they have invited Caesar to watch with them as they have a chat with him. That's a beautiful thing. I don't have a problem with the banter between the fans. The players compete on the table, off the table. They are pretty much brotherly. Ibra with the white ball touching Moses's red plays a bank. Almost got the bank. Almost got the bank. But still not enough. And this guy Moses knows how to utilize chances given to him. He has demonstrated that many times before. He shifted from Kitgum, extreme north of Uganda, by the way, near the border between Uganda and Sudan, to move to the city concentrate on playing pool because most of these competitions happen in Kampala here he is trying to showcase exactly what he is made of there's some music starting in the background as you can hear but it's live band music and it should be fine because it's not original
The master shot was executed well, but at times well is not good enough. Moses Omara is in a very good driving position to take this game and of course it will mean that he will have taken the match in its entirety. In sports there are average players, there are good players, there are very good players but there are bogey players and every good player has his bogey player. In the National Open, the car competition, Ibra was exited by Moses Omara. Moses Omara is behaving like Ibra's bogey player, about to eliminate him for a second consecutive tournament. Everything he is playing is turning out exactly as planned. This will be his fifth and final black, which he sinks in quite is safe, ladies and gentlemen. For the second time in a row, Moses Omara eliminates Sejemba Ibra. This guy in a midweek competition. See you in the next match.